Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you've got the card of emotional loss over here. And it seems, and this is the Five of Cups, it seems like you are, you know, you're trying to deal with that particular situation. This is a card of, uh, you know, regret, uh, upset, uh, you know, feeling as though uh, everybody has abandoned you there. Um, you've got, you know, the card of mental conflict. So you're thinking about the situation over and over in your head. You're, 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 you're too much in your head, really, at this particular moment. You're going over what happened and you're stressing about it and you're being, you know, you're very upset about what happened. So something really uh, has caused quite a bit of an emotional loss over there. Um, you, you're learning a lot from it, though. Uh, you've got the Hierophant over here, so you might need to go and, you know, get together with people uh, who have gone through the same kind of loss or the same kind of emotional problems. Um, and get support from them. So there is a need for you to get some advice, some support as well to deal with whatever you've been through. Now, it looks like you were, you know, very uh, successful in overcoming a lot of the problems that you were dealing with, but then something happened, um, you know, you've got this five of swords over here. There was a, a, a lot of conflict a lot of defeat going on over here. So although you were coming up on top over here, it seems like something has happened uh, that has caused uh, a lot of problems. So there was some kind of big battle, some kind of big argument that happened that left you feeling very humiliated, very defeated as well. And with that sense of emotional loss uh, going through that as well. And caused a lot of emotional, you know, mental conflict as well. A lot of um, anxiety and stress on your part. Now, going into the future, you're going to need to withdraw emotionally from this particular situation. Take some time off and really turn your back on that old situation and walk away from it. This is the Eight of Cups, uh, a need for you to leave behind whatever happened. You know, start it down to experience and just leave it behind and walk away. And this is the only way you're going to be able to overcome whatever this defeat or whatever this big uh, drama was in your life. A lot of truth is going to be coming to light over here. Now, this is the scales over here. So uh, it looks like karmic justice will be served over here. Um, and this is about you changing path, making a, a fresh start, giving, being given a second chance to start, start something new. And the universe balances everything out in the end over here with these giant scales. Uh, so, you know, if there was a legal issue, uh, it looks like, you know, that is going to be sorted out. If this was a divorce situation, it looks like, you know, a justice will be served within in this particular situation but there's also that you're going to be given a second chance to do something and uh, make a brand new start somewhere else so it's about weighing up your options and taking only the best with you and moving forward and leaving behind that which is uh, you know causing your downfall that that is causing uh, this uh, conflict in your life or this you know all this anxiety in your life all this distress uh, you need to leave it all behind and move forward so those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to be using the Kingdom Within Tarot for the main read. Oops. Everything seems to be turning upside down here. <laughs> okay, let's see. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Five of Cups. So there again, dealing with heartbreak, dealing with a lot of uh, you know emotional uh, problems or emotional letdowns. Uh, you can see this man's crying over all these cups that are spilt on the ground over there. Uh, and you know, feeling that sense of absolute loss. You can see his shoulders are down, his head is down. 
um, you know, and it seems like you've had to walk away from a, a, a situation or a person or something that was, uh, you know, you held very dear to you. You thought it was the ultimate cup. It was something that you really wanted and you were very, very, maybe you were very, very much in love with this person or if it was, you know, whatever the situation was, um, you were very happy in it and it seems like something has come in that has caused complete uh, loss, complete betrayal. And it's made you feel very despondent, uh, very upset. So there's, you know, you're going through quite a heartbreak situation here uh, with this uh, Five of Cups. So what's happening with you? You are waiting for things to change. Uh, you do feel like you were let down by this particular person. You've got this pirate holding this man over the water over there. So this person may have lied to you. Uh, they may have cheated. They had a lot of hidden agenda going on over there. Um, and you know this came to light maybe when it came to light uh, you suddenly realized exactly what they were about. Um, and uh, you know you're very very heartbroken about what uh, has been revealed to you. So the hangman is you know having to give up something that you really loved. It's the sacrifice card. Uh, but it's also, um, you know, waiting for things to change, uh, waiting for that situation to change. It's all very cloudy. You're still very, very confused. You can see there's a lot of mist over here. And you're feeling, uh, you know, your emotions are very upturned. You know, everything is um, uh, up in the air as far as your emotion goes. You're very, very upset about things. You've got the star card coming in over there. So there is a need for you to get rid of of all those negative emotions. You can see she's throwing out all this water. So you are bottling up a lot of that, uh, you know, your emotions and you need to vent. You need to tell people what you think. You also need to ask for some higher assistance or higher guidance over there. You can see this jug pouring up uh, to the, well, the sky is pouring into, the star is pouring into the jug itself. So you do need to get some divine guidance over there. You do need to pray, uh, but you also need to get rid of all that emotion uh, that has been tying you up, all that negative energy. You need to actually vent. You need to get rid of it uh, in order to overcome this particular situation. So you do need to speak to somebody and get some advice about what to do. You've got the six of wands in the past over here. So, uh, you know, you previously, it seems like everything was getting sorted out. It seems like you, you know, it seemed like you were getting on top of things. Uh, you were getting the recognition and success that you were craving or that you were going after. And it seems like, you know, you were on top of things there in the past. You've got the two of wands as well. <coughs> And in this card, it says aggressive conquest. So whatever this person has done to you, they did it and they, you know, they were very aggressive. They were very ruthless uh, in what they did to you in this particular situation. You've got Mars sitting in Aries over there. So a lot of aggression. So there might have been arguments you, you, um, you know, coming up against this particular person. Uh, there might have been a lot of conflict. Uh, that you faced with this particular person, and it was very, very aggressive. They, they, um, they didn't um, pull any punches, as they say. They really, uh, you know, uh, had no sympathy for your particular circumstance. And maybe this is the reason why you are so heartbroken. Now, you're trying to get your power back. You're trying to get uh, the authority back in your hand. Um, you know, the Emperor card is also, you know, there might be some kind of legal issues that you might have been dealing with, and you might be waiting for some kind of legal decision to be made as well. This is the card that is ruled by Archangel Michael, and he does speak about legal issues being sorted out as well. But this is also a card about taking back that control, being organized, being an authority again, and putting your emotions aside and just dealing very logically with whatever the drama is uh, that you went through. So, you know, you are not, you're not telling anybody exactly what you're feeling at this particular moment. You are bottling everything out. You do need to vent a little bit there. The Four of Wands is talking about, uh, you know, being victorious in whatever that situation is. So, although there has been conflict, it looks like, you know, uh, there might be some kind of a resolution that gets um, made over here. But this is also coming getting back your stability as well. You might even be thinking of buy buying a new home and starting off afresh somewhere else uh, with that four of wands. Um, and this also might be a card about travel. So you might be thinking about, uh, you know, traveling and, uh, you know, with people or working with a group of people over there, um, you know, getting... Um, getting some friends or people that are, you know, you can trust, trustworthy people that you can rely on with that four of wands over there. So you will come out of it. You do need to ask for some help, some support. 
So the Tale of Swords, whatever happened, you do feel as though you were completely ruined in this situation. This is the sun sitting in Gemini. It's the card of ruin. You can see a lot of people stabbing this man in the back and he's lying face down in a coffin. So it feels as though, uh, you know, whatever the situation is, there was no way you could win in the situation. And it looks like a lot of people had turned against you and nobody was there to support you. Um, you know, it looks like um, you were betrayed as well by the people that you trusted the most. And maybe this is the reason why you are so heartbroken about this particular situation. So a lot of people uh, humiliating you. You can see speaking behind your back, uh, not supporting you at all. This could also be, you know, you could have gone through legal issues and you were not a winner in this particular situation. So things didn't work out quite the way you wanted it to. This card is calling for you to, you know, leave the situation uh, and, you know, fight another day, really. Go and get yourself healed and live to fight another day. So you need to walk away from it, uh, see it for what it is, and see it as being something that, you know, you are finished and done with and you are going to be able to walk away. Uh, you need to walk away from it to make a fresh start with that Ten of Swords. It looks like you are dealing with some kind of legal issue as well. So whatever this legal battle is, it doesn't seem like, you know, it was, it, you know, if you're still waiting for that decision, it may not go in your favor uh, because you've got the Ten of Swords over there. So there might be, uh, you know, you're waiting for that legal decision to come through and it might not go in your favor with that Ten of Swords. So just be aware that that could well be the case. You may just have to just leave everything behind and walk off. So uh, you've got the Ace of Pentacles. You want to make a brand new start. Uh, and, you know, it's about work and focusing on work over there. So that's what's in your hopes and fears, starting off something fresh, start somewhere else. And you're hoping for new money to come in as well with that Ace of Pentacles. Now, the Wheel of Fortune, the Devil, and the Moon card over there. The Wheel of Fortune talking about uh, a change, a big change coming in over here. Uh, you know, you will. You, there might be some further study or further travel that comes in because you've got Jupiter over there, and this is about uh, events that you won't be in char in control of. Things the universe is bringing in these changes uh, to make the situation. Um, so it might it might not get better, but it definitely will change from whatever you have been going through. Uh, definitely. So a time to move on with that wheel of fortune things almost coming full circle for you there. You've got the devil over there and the moon. So this is about either still dealing with that negative energy of that person. You could have been dealing with a Capricorn person over here. This is the card of Capricorn. Um, and feeling very, very restricted and very tied up. This person might still be manipulating you from a distance. So be aware of that, that they have their their own hidden agenda. And, you know, if they it seems like they're going to apologize, it might not be worth even listening to that apology, really. But this is also, because it's ruled by Capricorn, uh, you know, and there's that Wheel of Fortune coming in over there, it might be that you might be changing jobs as well and moving on to something brand new. You've still got the Moon card over there, still feeling very restricted, very tied up, and feeling a bit confused uh, about what is going on, and maybe being afraid to act. So you need to see things a bit more clearly, take the emotional part out of the equation, and, uh, you know, start thinking very, very logically. Um, and, you know, if there is somebody that is still manipulating and trying to control you, you really do need to cut this person out because even if you go back to them, the circumstances will be very much the same. There is a story being played out on this card over here where this person forgives and then ends up still in the same situation that they were in previously. So just be aware that if you get back together with this person, you're still going to be manipulated, controlled, and bullied. Uh, things have, would not have changed. Uh, and you might be uh, find it even more difficult to get out of the situation for the second time. Um, so even though you're going through a lot of emotional turmoil over here with this moon card, not knowing quite what to do on that emotional level, you've got these koi fish swimming around and around in circles. Maybe that's what's going on in your head. Things are going around and around in circles in your head. and But you are still very much tied up in that situation. You need to actually let it go and make a fresh start, break the cycle um, and move on because it seems like, you know, this person is not for you. They're not there to support you, uh, whatever the circumstance is. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Angel Tarot for the uh, Oracle read. So you've got the page of air over here. So this is about receiving challenging information, delays or change of plans, and the truth being delivered without tact. So there is some kind of truth coming into light. 
there's also a legal decision that is coming to light as well. And this might be something that is challenging, so it might not be the outcome that you expected or that you want, really. Um, so just be aware that that could be the case. You are definitely going to be ending uh, that particular situation. So if this is a, you know, if this is the ten of earth and it's a work situation, that job is coming to an end. But if this is a divorce, you are definitely ending that particular cycle and moving on. And with the seven of earth is investing in yourself now. So ending whatever joint finances you may have with this person or whatever energy you have been putting into that relationship, you are going to be moving on and uh, investing it in yourself rather. And it's time that you did that. And don't worry unnecessarily. Whatever you invest in yourself will have a good outcome. So moving on from that old situation, something that was quite established, something that was there for a long time, is the Ten of Earth, uh, but now having to go on and start something afresh and invest in yourself over there. So this legal case might not go in your favor because of that page of air over there. And since you've got the Ten of Swords, it looks like it's ending. Whatever it is, the worst is over. Uh, that is the important thing to realize. It's what you do next is that is very, very important. Uh, if you go back to the situation, it seems like you will be stuck there for a very long time, maybe not even being able to leave that situation again. Um, but uh, if you make a chance, uh, take the chance and invest in yourself, that investment will pay off, um, you know, and you will get victory in the end with that four of wands. Uh, so things will work out, but you need to make that choice about how you want to proceed. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.